Hey, Megan. How you doing, honey? Good. How are you? Oh my gosh. Give me all the tips and tricks with the waves you got going on. <laughs> all natural. <laughs> How was your uh, three-day Memorial Day weekend? Uh, did you do anything fun? I played a show in Monticello, Mississippi on Saturday, and then I was home by Sunday to get on the lake. And then, you know, my mom's in town, so I got lunch with her yesterday, just kind of yeah. hanging out. I've been chilling, except not today. We're not chilling. <laughs> We're working today. Well, big <laughs> congratulations with your song, Tennessee Orange. We play it all the time here in Dallas, Fort Worth on New Country 90. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, can you please write a song about Texas next, please? Probably. I probably <laughs> can. I need to come out there and let somebody break my heart. <laughs> oh no, we don't want that to happen. No. Um, Have you been to Texas before? I have, yeah. Okay. I've I know played some shows that, or I just played in Fort Worth with uh, Brooks and Dunn. Um, and then I've played some shows in like Dallas and Houston. So yeah, well, we're going to have you back in Dallas. I know you're about to start touring again, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be at the studio at the factory in November. That's the best time because you're, you're going to beat all that Texas heat girl, which I know you're familiar with because you're a Georgia girl. So it's pretty much the same thing. So November is <laughs> a good time. Perfect. I can't wait. <laughs> now, I, I have to say, Megan, I am an SEC girl myself, but I hate to tell you this. I, I'm an Alabama girl, so roll tight. I have to slide that in. Uh, That's okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll let it slide this one time. <laughs> but um, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to ask you this question. Can you give me your perspective what the difference is between Tennessee fans and UGA fans? Have you noticed, like, what's the biggest difference for you? I don't want to get you in trouble. If you um, well, I actually, I could say, I could tell you the difference between Georgia fans and Florida fans. Um, <laughs> but um, I think that, you know, I went to a Tennessee game last year and um, it was funny that the environments are pretty similar. You know, the fans, they're just really passionate and they kind of have like the same vibe as a, as in Athens, you know, at the University of Georgia. So I was kind of surprised by that because I thought that was like only an Athens thing, but they were pretty passionate um, in Neyland yeah. too. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Ride or die for sure. Now, your debut album, Lucky, it dropped earlier this month. Big congratulations. Thank you. How, how fun was that to put that together and how would you describe it? I wrote all those songs in the past year and a half. And um, after Tennessee Orange kind of, started to take off. Um, I was able to sign a record deal and I kind of agreed with my label before I even signed. I was like, I have all these songs and I'm kind of ready to put out ASAP. So let's get on it. And they were like, absolutely, let's do it. Um, <laughs> and so it's just been pretty easy is what it seems like, you know, I've, cause I've had a lot of these songs already and um, I just write based off personal experiences. So as long as I have time to live, I have have material to write about and then ah. um getting those produced was fun christian bush um who's half of sugarland is my producer um and he's been great for you know making this like kind of unique sound for me that like is he just understands my brain i tell him what i want and he um executes it very well i think and um it's just been a great partnership there so it's been really exciting and so far, it feels pretty easy. It's a lot of hard work, but it doesn't feel like work, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I haven't been able to listen to the whole album, but I'm obsessed with your song, uh, Sleep on My Side. <laughs> it makes me want to kick down a door, take a shot of tequila, and scream the lyrics out loud to my ex. Like, yeah, so summer anthem, girl. You can't trust a J name, you know? No. You can't trust him. <laughs> I love that, yes. Um, now I do follow you on Instagram. I love in your bio, you put professional emo girl. Can, can you please put that on all of your merch? I do have emo cowgirl merch. Yeah. I know okay. it's on a, it's on a hat and a sweatshirt so far. So, <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. Um, isn't anything else that we need to know what's coming up for you, Megan Maroney, that we didn't get a chance to cover? Um, I think I'm just touring, you know, I'm always writing new songs and working on new music. I've already got songs for my second album, even though the first one just came out. So um, just always working on new music, always touring. I can't wait to meet everybody. I love it. Texas cannot wait to have you back, Megan Maroney. Also, is your birthday on October 9th? It is. 
Okay, my fiance and I are getting married on your birthday, so we will forever. Oh my gosh! Wait. Wow. We'll always know your birthday. Like today's Megan's birthday. Happy congrats. birthday! Congrats. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Megan. And again, big congratulations with all your success. We love Tennessee Orange, and we cannot wait to have you back here in November. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all.